Open Alex, re reusing common vocabularies. We created the SAM Open Alex Knowledge Graph in RDF and provide all data, code, and services at samopenalex.org as periodically updated RDF data snapshots at resolvable as a resolvable data source in the linked open data cloud in a triple store with a public Sparkle endpoint and via a semantic search interface to access, search, and visualize the data in real time. So when creating the same open LX ontology, we follow the entity types of open LX, but in total, the same open LX ontology contains 19 different entity types and 73 relations among them and other attributes. For modeling the concepts, um, we model the concepts of the papers and the newly introduced topics and keyword in controlled vocabularies, reusing the widely adopted SCOS concept hierarchies. So here I did a visual exploration of the concept publishing and then using these controlled vocabularies, we can really ex explore broader concepts like literature, but also of course, narrower concepts, which here in, over in this overview, I have grouped for a better, better overview. And of course, we also can explore the related entities in the graph. One very nice um, thing about the IDF data model is that it is both human readable, but also machine readable. And what does this mean? So if you access a specific URI of an entity within SAM Open LX, here, the entity of my former colleague, Michael Ferber, we, uh, we will get to a human readable HTML interface with the most important metadata about this entity. And because the data is modeled in a graph, we can also very easily display related entities for this author, like for example, is co-authors or the most citing authors or other related entities. But of course, the data is also machine accessible, for example, via curl and resolvable URIs. We followed OpenLX and all SAM OpenLX data is licensed out of Creative Commons Zero CC Zero license. The ontology we provide not only as an interactive live visualization at samopenelect.org, but also as a turtle file, and we provide a linked data set description in a void file. Now, if you access samopenelect.org, you will see a, a human-friendly end-user interface, which includes an interactive query builder, an entity disambiguation, a faceted search, a rich result visualization, as well as exploration and navigation through the data. So here, for example, I want to explore all works from the creator, Michael Ferber. But I want to spe specify my search more, and I want to only get works that have the topic semantic web, knowledge graph, and big data. And if we build this faceted search, we will then get back the work sem SAM Open Alex, the scientific landscape in 26 billion RDF triple, which is our paper we have published last year at the International Semantic Web Conference. Like already mentioned, we also provide a public Sparkle endpoint to access the entire data set to the public. And here, for example, is a Sparkle query to retrieve the top three most cited papers with the concept semantic web as well as their citation count and first author. So on the left, you see the Sparkle query to get this information. And on the right, uh, you see the results you will get back executing the Sparkle query over SAM OpenLX. You can also build semantic charts with Sparkle queries and visualize the, the results of Sparkle queries. Here, for example, the first chart is a comparison between the two German universities, KIT, and Technical University Berlin regarding the concepts of their published papers. And the second chart is simply the number of paper published in the field of machine learning and NLP by researchers from Karlsruhe Institute of Technology over the years. One very nice thing about the RDF data mod model is that it enables a simple data integration 
and interoperability. And this makes it very easy to interlink the data over several knowledge graphs. And here, SAM OpenLX can really serve as a central semantic hub within the linked open data cloud. So the OpenLX data already contains a lot of links to Wikidata, which is very great. So Wikidata is another RDF knowledge graph, which contains information above all domains. And for example, another knowledge graph is linked papers with code, which is a semantic representation of papers with code, which contains key content, content about the machine learning domains. And these knowledge graphs are all linked to SAM OpenLX. So we can really do analysis, for example, with Spark queries over all these data sets at once. And this is um, a very nice thing. So we can really interlink these RDF data sets. To come to an end, some other example use cases for SAM OpenLX are, you can use it for semantic scholarly big data analytics and large scale scientific impact quantification. You can use it to build semantic scholarly search or recommender systems. And of course, given its massive size, you can also use it for benchmarking, for example, Spark query performance over large and realistic RDF data sets. So to finish my presentation, we have published a large scale RDF knowledge graph following best practices and fair principle based on OpenLX. So a semantic representation of OpenLX. If you want to get more information and a detailed description about it, you can have a look at our ISWC paper and SAM OpenLX will be maintained and developed further by MetaFacts and SCUDS AI and TU Dresden. And it is also an AWS open data project. We really plan to enrich the data further by linking more scientific key content to it to really build a semantic scholarly data hub. So any kind of collaboration and feedback from the community is highly appreciated. And the only thing left now is that you access the data and have a look at it at semopenlx.org. Thanks uh, for your attention.